Hello everybody, welcome back to the 37 info channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create smart actions, macros with Logitech MX Master 4. So if you want to automate your tasks, then it's easier than ever. Let's go over to the Logi Options Plus and right here we have these smart actions right close to the add device so let's click smart actions and right here all we have to do is go over to either templates or we can create our own one right here and for an example i'll choose the work mode and as you guys can see bring to foreground google chrome now three second delay new tab gmail.com keystroke enter and we will bring the microsoft word excellent powerpoint to the foreground but I am missing this app and as you guys can see I have the warnings right here so I'll get rid of it and for an example we can edit it and let's say click here and let me add an action that we want to open up Microsoft Edge and bring to foreground or first open up the application then let's go over and add for an example application and bring to foreground and then let's go over and go to application Microsoft Edge and here enable the new browser tab and after that let's add keystroke and we can go over and type in this so Now let's stop recording and confirm it. Here we have our keystrokes for an example. And now we can, let's say, save it. So I'll get rid of the Google Chrome right here. Or I'll add the other action like the text. So it will be much faster and much more better to read. Now let's confirm it. And here let's add a keystroke with the enter. Now stop recording and confirm and click on save now we can try and see if that works as you guys can see it does work but i just need to have some delay on that so for an example we can add a two second delay between what we do here so this is actually very fun to use as you guys can see we can actually make something here and it doesn't have to be for an example perfect you guys can just have fun and see if anything works so as you guys can see now we can try it again and now it opens it up we have it in the foreground and we are in the gmail so as you guys can see, we can have a lot of fun while testing the smart actions. So now we can add if, and this is the trigger. So for an example device, now we're choosing our device and here we can select the button. So for an example, I'll use the gestures button and click on confirm trigger. Now let's click on save. And as you guys can see, now whenever I press this button, we have the Microsoft Edge running and I'm not doing anything so it was all in a click of a button this is how you guys can do the smart actions so here we have the templates as I've mentioned before and you saw the process of creating one so this is how you guys can automate your tasks with either pre-made or custom macros and that's it for the video so I hope it was helpful if it was then leave a like subscription and a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.